Hi, I'm Cassie and this is Surprise Let's Play. Okay, so per usual, I'm not really sure what's in this box. Um, I'm going to guess it is the Shriek Wrecked Goliope. So, um, if not, it could be Bratz <laughs> or Monster High. Bring a present. Box covers really come in handy when opening boxes. Okay, this could possibly be the Goliathy. I have seriously been waiting a really long time for her. I was almost nervous she wasn't going to show up. Um, this is Goliathy. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. They seriously need to make more of these dolls. I really feel like if they did a bigger production of them again, like they would just be really popular. But seriously, look how cute she is. I have um, the original Goliathy which is the uh, the circus one. I just can't think of the name at the moment. I always get brain fogs when I am recording. So anyway, um, this is the Shriek Correct one and she's super cute. So this All right, and on the back of her thing, Okay, so I think I got yet another doll in a different language because, yeah, this has, I think this is from the same seller, so it's, but no, she's from Wisconsin. Um, I don't know, but look, it's like poopay something, and then like, if you look over here, oh, sorry. It's not English, like, right away. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I, I can't read what it says, but, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open her. So, Goliathy does smell a little funky, but it's not like the person had a stinky house. It kind of smells like, like an old, you know, vintage shop. Yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> Um, so here she is. She's super cute. Um, I need to brush her hair out, honestly, but her super cute shoes, they're like jelly. They're so cute. I love Monster High shoes and they have the little skulls right here. And then her dress has the Monster High skull on it. And... Um, not sure what that is. This is blob. Yeah, blob. Oh, that is so cute. It just says blob all over. So kind of like Ed Hardy. That's the, that's the style that I'm getting from this particular Goliope. Oh, and she has this, um, cute bag. So I think it's adorable. It's an anchor. But it also has, I think it has a Kraken on it. No, it just has um, seaweed. But, yeah, I um, absolutely love the little episodes on YouTube. I need to buy the movies. I know I keep saying that, but I... I the more I say it, the the more likely it is to happen that I will buy the uh, DVDs off of Amazon so that I can finally, you know, be up to date with everybody. Because I do love everyone. I just can't find the time really to sit down. Sorry, I thought I had something on my face. Um, to really, I can't find the time to sit down really and watch um, hours and hours of Monster High, but I probably can on the weekends. I really should because I kind of just take it easy 
on Saturday mornings, so I could probably just have it where I watch it on Saturdays. But yeah, I'm just gonna comb her hair out a little bit. I do appreciate that there's not a ton of gel in her hair. It just, yeah. Oh, there is some fallout, but that's okay. It's gonna happen. And see, she's so pretty. Um, I got her off of eBay and she, or no, I didn't, excuse me. She is on eBay though. Um, I bought her off of the Monster High buy, sell, trade page. And um, yeah, I love her already. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can buy her on Amazon or no, excuse me. Well, you could probably look her up cause there's other sellers like third party sellers on Amazon. So, but you have to like kind of pay a bunch to sell on there. Um, but, um, yeah, eBay, eBay is where you'll most likely get it. Or you can even send me a message and be like, Hey, I'm looking for a Goliope, um, for a good price. You know, the shriek wrecked one. I can, I can help you find her. Um, that's one thing I love to do is be friends with other doll collectors or other people that love to play dolls. Um, my daughter absolutely loves dolls. Uh, she loves the OMGs the best, just like me. Um, but we're big fans of them all. So we will definitely help you find what you need. Uh, what I love about Goliope and actually the Frightfully Tall dolls, that's what they're called is Frightfully Tall, is they articulate in their um, chest area. So like underneath the chest is a, here I'll show you. See, is another spot for articulation. So her back, she can move, sorry, Goliope. She can move like this, um, which is nice because you can pose her in different ways. These ones are extremely posable. Um, I mean, I'm sure you've been able to tell so far. And if you have one, you know, but literally you can pose them however I don't know why I always do that. <laughs> you can pose them however you want to. For the most part, almost however you want to. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.